Hello everybody, welcome back, and yes, we're back at it again with another rare item video for you all in the world of Elden Ring. Since we've already discovered and worked out what is the rarest weapon in Elden Ring, I thought it'd be a good idea to showcase to you all what is going to be the rarest armor set so you can pair the two together and take down your enemies in style. I also just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody that has shown the tremendous amount of support on that rarest weapon video because it genuinely means a lot. You guys seem to love it, so that's why I'm pairing this video with it. Of course, if you want to check out the original one for the weapon as well, that's linked below. So do give that one a watch after this one so then you can rock out in the rarest gear that's available in Elden Ring and as I say, bowl about in the world in absolute style. And of course, if you happen to like this video, do hit the like button as well down below and if you enjoy all the content you're seeing on the channel, do check that you're subscribed because there is a huge amount of you that are not i believe 98 percent of you watching the videos are not subscribed so let's try and sort that out we are pushing for 5,000 subs by the end of the year so hit that subscribe button it's free if you want to change your mind in the future you can do i won't hold you to it i promise but back on track before i ramble on too much about that the reason why you clicked on this video what is the rarest armor set that's available in Elden Ring and more importantly is it useful well just like the weapons that are available in Elden Ring there's an absolute plethora of armor sets that are also available to you which can be dropped by many an enemy pretty much everything you see you can obtain its armor so why is this one in question so rare well that's because only two that I know of two specific enemies in the game can actually drop this particular armor set and the bonus to that is they're sort of hidden away a little bit if you don't necessarily explore the map too much there's every chance you may have never even seen this particular enemy and as I say as there's only two that drop it in total throughout the game I feel like this is probably the rarest out of all of them in the world of Elden Ring so the armor and the enemies in question is actually going to be the Mausoleum Knight's armor as I say to my knowledge there may be more but I only know of two particular knights that can and drop the full armor set including the shield and also the sword that they wield as well one of which is sort of patrolling the area near Rea Lucaro Academy in the actual lake where the mausoleum can be found and this is where you may have probably seen them it's those headless sort of ghost form knights that are patrolling the area the majority of which are just sort of like the foot soldiers but there's one which is the main knight which has the really cool heavy armor which we're going to be farming and luckily for us aside from that area was about 20 different enemies there's one residing by himself just outside of the black knife catacombs and he is the one that we're going to be bullying and rinsing the farming technique of because unfortunately for him he's literally residing just outside of the site of grace for that particular catacomb so if you haven't gone there before it's sort of on the west side of the uh, lake of Lernia sort of as if you're going up to the frenzied flame village but if you hang a right and head down that sort of forest like cliffside all the way at the end is going to be the black knife catacomb which you can see on screen here and as I say just outside is going to be one of those knights with luckily his back turned to us so the farming technique is literally going up to him sneaking behind him hitting him with a critical hit and trying to kill him before he gets up because with these sort of ghostly form knights they can teleport you're going to be seeing a few examples during this farming method that i'm showcasing to you but if you don't kill him quick enough he can teleport it can get a little bit annoying because you start swinging your swords at him and he's all of a sudden gone and yeah it just gets a bit messy so try and kill him as quickly as you can whether it's straight away with a critical hit using a heavier weapon than I'm using or if he gets back up to try and kill him before he fully gets back up and teleports away and as I say he's literally right outside the site of grace for the catacomb so it's so simple all you need to do run up to him or not run up to him but sneak up to him kill him head back to the site of grace rinse and repeat it's literally as simple as that it's probably one of the quickest farms you're ever going to do in this game and of course the pro tips whenever you're farming make sure you've got a nice high amount of arcane there are a few items in the game that can boost it like some armor sets like the silver tier mask for instance but if you don't have them you can also use consumables like the silver pickled foul foot and also mix that in with the silver scarab talisman to boost your discovery by 50% and the enemy actually drops five items 
in total to actually have the full set including the great shield and also the great sword but obviously for the armor set we're waiting for him to drop the mausoleum greaves the mausoleum gauntlets and also finally the mausoleum armor but as i say he can also drop the eclipse great shield which is the one he's holding and also the knight great sword so if you want the complete look you can obviously as a bonus farm for those as well but obviously more importantly there's only three pieces of the actual armor set where he's obviously a headless knight there's no helmet that he drops because he hasn't got a head so the other unique side of this thing is you can actually mix and match the helmet to whatever you wish and of course on screen i'm going to be showcasing you the full set with a couple of different helmets as well to show you how you can mix and match this to make it look insane the reason why i feel this armor is so good and is actually worth getting is purely for the cape and also like the feather mount on the back itself so on the back of the chest plate you've sort of got that curved mount with the black feathers attached that just looks so cool you've even got the badges on the front of the chest piece as well so mixing it with the cape that's also got a really cool design on the back it's just a amazing armor set and looks incredibly cool not only does it look cool but it is also viable as it gives you 45 poise having just the gauntlets the greaves and the armor itself so boosting it with a high poise helmet you can sort of get to the higher end of the 50s maybe even break 60 poise and actually making it a useful armor set to use throughout the game so to answer the question is it actually worth getting yes yes it is it is actually viable it's not all that heavy so you should at least hopefully be able to keep in the medium bracket for sort of your equipment load it's not going to be slowing you down at all and of course the more important thing for fashion souls it looks incredible so you'll be stunting on your enemies you're able to dodge able to run around like normal and you're going to have no problems using this armor set whatsoever also mixing the fact that you can add your favorite helmet onto this and make it look even more cool and actually have that personal feel to it as well so you can make it look like however you want to look like in terms of the helmet it's just a really really cool unique and viable armor set to be using especially late game in Elden Ring and as I mentioned at the beginning there are many different armor sets within the game but in terms of actually farming for this and anything that's actually viable within the game that actually helps you and defends you against attacks I feel like this is the best one and also potentially the rarest because like I say some people may have never even gone to the Black Knife Catacombs. I personally didn't until like my second or third playthrough. And also whenever I see those knights in the Lake of Lernia, I don't know whether you're the same as me, but I just run past them. I don't even bother. I see that there's about 20, 25 of them, and I'm just like, no. They're teleporting. Ah, uh -uh. no, I'm not doing it. As I say, there's every chance that you've maybe never even seen this enemy or even have any pieces of the armor set. I know I personally didn't, and I have killed the one outside the Black Catacombs a couple of times. But even just from my ex own experience, I feel like, to me, this is the rarest, of course. If you feel like anything else is more rare than this particular armor set, or even if you have it and know of any other enemies that can drop this throughout the game, so it probably is one that I've missed somewhere, do let us know down in the comments below because that'll be interesting to know if there's any other farming spots but again just to answer the original question if you will I would say it's definitely worth the farm it's viable in game it looks amazing and like I say you can add that personal touch to have whatever helmet you wish to make it your own sort of take on the rarest so making it even more rare if you will then <laughs> armor set within Elden Ring but that's pretty much it just trying to keep this one short and sweet as I said thank you very much for the support on the previous video with the rarest weapon in Elden Ring you guys have shown an incredible amount of support in that video and I couldn't be any more thankful to you lot that have interacted whether it be commenting liking and even subscribing of late I really do appreciate that like I say we're trying to aim for 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you do see yourself coming back to the channel and watching multiple videos do hit that subscribe button that way you will never miss a future release and hit the notification bell as well afterwards and that way you'll be notified whenever i do upload so maybe you can be one of those people that are first to watch the videos when they first come out but other than that go and have fun farm for this armor because it looks incredible and then you can flex on all your friends showing them that you have a really cool armor piece that they do not have unless you want to show them this video but before I take up too much of your time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day, guys, and I will catch you in the next video of whatever it is that I make. Bye-bye.